Located in the middle of downtown Atlanta is Common Ground, an HIV, substance abuse, and mental health support group that meets every Wednesday and Thursday at First Congressional Church. This is a place where individuals can move from isolation to community. We have a great, a really great uh, working relationship with um, the leadership of Common Ground, and they know that this is a place where they can come um, anytime. It gives them a safe place to talk about their experiences, to talk about um, what they're going through. I can say for me, I've been diagnosed with HIV for over 20, over 25 years. So for me, in the beginning, HIV was very traumatic. My parents disowned me for like 15 years. My family disowned me. That's one of the reasons why I moved to Georgia. HIV was kind of a hard situation by my parents being both in the church and so like that. My father was a minister. I grew up in the African Methodist Episcopal Church in Philadelphia. I had no physical contact with my mom or my dad for 15 years. Mind you, my father was a pastor in the African Methodist Episcopal Church. I went, through a lot of, I went through a lot of trauma dealing with the church setting, dealing with HIV. For 15 years, I was really angry with my parents. I mean, it, it's gotten better over the years, but it's still, my family, they're better. They still love towards me, but it's still not the same. And I don't think it'll ever be the same because of my HIV status. My initial thoughts when I was diagnosed was, how did this get in my body? You know, am I going to die? I had a brother who had also uh, met his demise through uh, being HIV. And right then, I felt in my heart God telling me, you shall live and not die, you know. And then the question was, well, if I'm not going to die, why even allow me to have it? But I found out it wasn't so much for me, it was for the people around me and the things that I was going to experience and share with them. They loved me at a time in my life when I didn't love myself. Um, they poured love upon me and my spirit began to grow. It's been my strength through my battles with HIV. Um, and it, has, it gives me the strength to face the challenges that a trans woman of color has to face on a daily basis. This group has helped me through many transitions. Uh, transitioning into my uh, womanhood, uh, transitioning into my spiritual relationship, um, and how I can um, best use the gifts that have been given me. I'm able to help other people now. I started my own organization in 2001, and in 2011, President Obama gave me an award as a champion of change. Common Ground is more, to me, it's, it's a family of people who have HIV and they understand what you're going through. Sometimes people can sympathize with you but to really understand what, you, what a person with, dealing with HIV goes, goes through every day. Common Ground was that group, was that network of people who helped me deal with a lot of personal issues dealing with HIV and stuff like that. So One of the biggest principles in our church is about service and using Jesus Christ as a model for serving the community. That's what we're here to do. You know, they, these are our neighbors. We truly see people like Common Grounds and other community partners as our neighbors. And so we would, we would do for them as we would do for our own family. I mean, you, you cannot have, you know, your church doors just closed off and, and say who can and can't come through and who, you can't, who we will and won't help. It's really great. So it's a wonderful opportunity, which we really appreciate. But a lot of churches need to uh, go by the example of this church as far as being open. Here I am, I uh, was diagnosed 1998, I'll be 59 this year, look at me. And I'm HIV positive, you know, and I'm undetectable. So to God be the glory for that. <laughs>